Hello guys, anybody out there yet? Hello, hello, hello. That got really fluffy here. That's a little better. Hello guys. Ah, there's Diane. Can you see can you see me and hear me, Diane? Hi Sally. Diane says, happy birthday, Bryce. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Stephanie. How are we doing, guys? You getting a voice and a video now? Gonna let the other join us here. Anybody, can you hear me and see me? Danny McSorley says, happy birthday, Bryce. You already hit the like button, you need to do it again. Thank you, Patrice. Ask them if they can see and hear now. Here and see you. Patrice. Oh, thank you, Patrice. I was looking for a response. Thank you, thank you. Ah, great, Stephanie. Good. Well, we'll give everybody a chance to get over here. Sorry about that. I don't know. We still don't know why it didn't work. We did all the same things, but it just didn't start. So I was talking away. And uh, to those of you who are saying Debbie was late in her black screen because her eyes are closed, I was here. <laughs> Hi, Annette. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Wait till Roberta gets here. I got a few words for Roberta. <laughs> oh. Hi, Kathy. I hope I said hi to everybody. Patrice, I said hello. Hi, Betty. Hi, Bettys, both Bettys. Welcome, guys. Oh, James is doing great. I'm so glad to hear it, Annette. That's awesome. Miss Roberta, I have a black screen because Debbie's got her eyes closed. Huh? Really? <laughs> you couldn't see me, but I could see you. <laughs> Forever trying to lose you. Hi, Thelma. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for finding us again. Hey, we don't know why that happened. We had all the same settings set. We just had to go out and restart the stream. So thanks for your patience. I appreciate it. Today, as you know, is Bryce's birthday. You want to see his birthday card? I started it yesterday and I showed you a little bit of it, but let me show you what I did for Honey's birthday. This is his pop-up box card in the middle it says i love you more than chocolates and it's filled with little chocolate bars and every panel has love notes on it <laughs> we need some new kitchen appliances this year so we're not doing birthday presents but i wanted to do an extra special extra special birthday card for him. So I was up all night writing messages and finding quotes. I have quotes from the Hunger Games, from Dr. Seuss, from oh Helen Keller, all about love. This one says, remember we're madly in love, so it's okay to kiss me anytime you feel like it. That's PETA in the Hunger Games. <laughs> and there's so many quotes, so many 
wonderful quotes in here. <laughs> this one says, just because it can't be too, too nice to Bryce. Um, where is that one? Oh, yeah. It says, every day I fall in love with you more and more. Well, not yesterday. Yesterday you were annoying. <laughs> So it's got all kinds of little quotes. And then he was astonished that the pockets are just filled with little quotes, all kinds of little quotes. But it was great fun. And he he says he feels loved and appreciated. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Didn't it turn out pretty, though? And I was worried about the weight of the paper. It definitely is not the 300 GSM paper, but it was it actually worked up very nicely. So. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, filled with little love quotes for my honey, as he deserves it. Oh, I think we got everybody back. So let's start our project today. This is probably the last decoupage we'll do for a while until I see something else I want. <laughs> I only have eight of these sets of butterflies. I don't know if any of them sold yesterday, but there were. Betty already bought one. Oh, Betty bought one. These are really, they're really pretty butterflies. And I got to say, I painted them last night and prep for today so we wouldn't all have to watch paint dry today. They paint up really, really nice. This is. Um, one base coat and then just kind of a light touch-up coat. It was fast and easy to decoupage, so, or to paint on. I'm so sorry, I hit for this. There is, a, well, we have the, um, you guys have had so many kits that had paint and Mod Podge in them. I've been reluctant to just keep throwing bits up. So I have, we have, the Hortensia paper. This is the wallpaper design that we've talked about. I'm going to use the wallpaper today because I think it will go well with the other Hortensia items that I already have up. And then we will, um, but it still will be a little bit different, you know what I mean? And so I just thought it would be pretty. I'm going to capture some of the areas that are that still have quite a lot of pattern on them. And I think that's where I'll start is just cutting out the pieces that I'm going to use. But these butterfly sets are pretty, aren't they? And the set of three of these butterflies is $9.99. So it's a pretty affordable project. I presume at this point you have white paint and you have um, Mod Podge. I have both available if you need any. But I didn't put it into a kit per se because, oh, I'm taking away your fun by saying this is the last decoupage for a while. Is that what I'm doing? No, Kathy's teasing the truth. She, oh. she can't decoupage her husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, usually when we do a project in class, I've already done it because I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. Well, gosh, between my birthday and taking it really easy on myself and Bryce's birthday coming up this week and then just all the regular things. I'm still working on taxes. I finished all my sales taxes for all the states, yay me, and other things. I just didn't get a project done, so I am literally... Um, working on the fly today, not because I'm making butterflies, but because I have not done this project in advance. <laughs> so I may learn as I go. <laughs> it's possible I could have some real discoveries here. <laughs> Bryce over there shaking his head at me, guys. Yeah, I write him all these love notes, and he's over there rolling his eyes and shaking his head at me like, this woman, where'd I get this woman? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put a little decoupage medium right on my butterfly here. I've got to get my brush going. So I'm going to turn my bottle upside down because this one's almost empty. So get some medium on my butterfly here. And I think what I'm going to do to start with is just cover my top side. In fact, I think I might leave the white, the sides white on this rather than trying to wrap them because it's lots of twists and turns and corners here. I went into um, my distributor that had the Hortensia papers and was just taking a look at what they had left and deciding whether or not to order replacements for um, I didn't know yet how many of you were going to want the um, explosion boxes yet. So I was just checking out availability. <sighs> They're starting to sell out of the Hortensia papers. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to get them. Woe, woe is me. Because I really have loved this line. I don't think in all the years I've done business that there's been one paper line I have been as in love with as I have this one. Got my emery board here. Since I'm saying I'm just going to do the top surface and not the and not wrap it around the sides, I can literally just use my emery board around the edge and peel off the extra, it'll get a little bit more complicated as I get up around his antennae, but I am thinking this should work pretty well. <laughs> yeah, my honey left the room so now I can talk about him. I think he was really touched with his card. He was touched with the fact that I would stay up all night and find, find and write quotes. So I wrote a bunch of them that I thought were important things to say to him. But uh, some of them are just fun, like the Hunger Games. And I have two in there from Dr. Seuss about love. And I think he was really, really touched. He kind of got choked up when he was reading it. So I think he's pretty excited about it. So that's good. Anytime you can get a, get a guy to admit that he's feeling choked up about something that you've done, I think we've, we've done all right. I might have to recover this one antenna. I didn't realize it wasn't attached good to the to the uh, Mod Podge, and it was kind of a little off. But I, we've already talked about the fact that we can easily add paper where we need it, right? So I'm not going to stress that. I'm going to cut a little of this extra paper away so I can see what I'm doing. My daughter and I are painting the office this weekend while Hobby is at drill. Well, that's cool. That'll be fun. Well, not fun painting, but fun for him to have, his, have the office painted. I'm using that same emery board I used before. I may wish I had picked up another pack of them before I'm done here, but we'll see how it goes. I do think it was a little easier when I could kind of reach into some of these spaces a little bit more. So I'm going to clip into the sides of my butterfly so I can get a little bit more movement from the paper. Kind of 
get the paper in where I want it. Can you guys see okay? Can you see what I'm doing right? Oops. Hey, honey, could you do me one favor? Would you look in that drawer in our bathroom and see if there's an, by chance another Emory board? Please, I didn't do it. And I'm watching this one peel in front of my eyes. I'm sure there's not one in here. I might check the tool drawer of the storage area, though. Maybe I have one of those sanding blocks. Oh, I do. Actually, I do have a sanding block over there, honey. Um, the winter project stuff where we had the um, wood burning. There's a box back there where I had the wood burning on that shelf. And it's got some little sanding blocks. That would be helpful. Yeah, I can tell you that the antenna are what's going to be the challenge here. I, it will be a challenge we will overcome, but it is going to be the challenge. Those little antennas, especially on this little one. We almost got it all the way around already. You find it all okay? Uh, yeah. I'm still going to need this for the fine detail. Thank you. But that will get me around the edges, okay? Can you roll that down so I can see? Is it better down? The um, emery board? No, I think it does pretty well dry, actually. Um, I think damp, it might tend to kind of clog up a bit, but I might put just a little bit more paper on the one antenna. Remove all strands. Oh. I'm not sure. Never tried it down. Uh, that might. And then my run the paper. But look how pretty that's going to be. Okay. So we can let me keep a piece of this for his antenna. Maybe a piece of the dark ground. We need just a little corner. Get rid of this. This looks pretty good, actually, I think. I love the way the flowers lay out on there. That's pretty fun. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Now, again, this is the Hortensia wallpaper. So the tones in this one will bring in the, will bring in the um, pen stands are still sitting on the table here. Oops. Um, um, we'll bring in the pen stands and lay them together so you can see how this looks with the with the regular Hortensia paper momentarily or when we get these laid out and done. I did paint them in white again because um, as we've talked about, um, rice paper just does better when it's over a bright surface it will make the colors pop and if it's not over a bright surface it dulls the color so I'm really gonna like these on the wall of my office though <laughs> I'm gonna have the prettiest office it's just a little 10 by 10 space but Man, is it going to be purple when I'm done. <laughs> and I think, I we talked about that. I think I'm going to get a couple of those storage boxes out that we bought at Christmas time. Just the, you know, like the regular white and black storage boxes they sell at Michael's. I think I'm going to get a couple of those out 
and decoupage them with these colors so I will have some matching storage boxes in there that's gonna look beautiful that's gonna look beautiful beautiful here's our first coat on it deepens the color a little bit and you put the medium on it isn't it pretty you know one of the things I'm going to do with this guys because I like okay can't get answer about the board so I'll try this one there's a hortensia rice paper that's two dollars more is there something off of, or something different about it um, the are you talking about one that's five dollars and forty nine cents, Patrice? If so, that's the A. If it's size A three, if it's size A three, it is twice the size. This one right here that I've got laid out is an A three size, and it's five dollars and forty nine cents instead of the the um, two ninety nine that the regular ones are because it's twice the size. What is it I have on order, Roberta? The boards are on order, it must be this. Oh, board. the score, are you guys talking about the, um, the, box the box boards? Yeah, A3s are twice the size. I have an A4. Let me tell you about British um, sizing convention because it actually kind of makes some sense. A1s are the great big, we never ever see these in the store, the great big printer sheets of paper. When they cut them in half, they become the size of those ones that you used to see in the paper stores where you get the great big sheets of paper. They cut those in half and they become A3s, which is this. They cut these in half, they become A4s. They cut this in half, it becomes an A5. And when you cut the, the um, A4, no, the A5 in half, you get A6s. That's why an A6, I know this is complicated, but it does make sense. Each time they apply a set of cuts to the paper, it takes on the next name. So an A6 is equal to four A4s because you cut it in half, then cut it in half again. And you don't often see it, but I was looking at it on some stamps today. There is also a European A7 that's half the size of our A6 cards that we use. So when you see A7 here, it means a five by seven. But when you see A7 on something that is British, what you're seeing is, hmm, I decide which side of that I like better. Uh, when you see something that says A7 in European measures, that's half the size of an A6. So every time they cut the paper down, it takes a higher number. You guys are talking about the explosion boards, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Wow, these are going to be pretty. We, do we know if they've shipped yet? Or? I do not know if they've shipped yet. I haven't been notified that they've shipped, so they probably have not. I have them on order from two different companies, though. So we should get some before too long. They were quite a hit when they came out though so you couldn't get them anywhere i just got in early enough to get the dozen that i got and i wish or, or what did i get 18 first time anyway um i should have got more when i ordered them chances are i might not have gotten them anyway though sometimes they limit us to the number we can get in our first order yeah, we're, I'm confident we'll get them again. We'll get them again as soon as we can. And I do have pre-orders in on both of them, so we should be in fairly early in line.
I got this pretty spongy here. <laughs> I'm going to brush it out a little bit because I really got almost a little carried away with my decoupage medium here. I may have to take some of it and do the sides of my little butterfly because I get a little carried away. Thank you, Patrice. I appreciate you shopping with us. I really love the way you guys support our small family business. And it is very much appreciated. I doubt if you can find them anywhere else yet, actually. <laughs> many, many of the sellers on Amazon get their supplies from the same, uh, their U.S. supplies from the same company I do. And... I got mine before they got there. So nobody on Amazon had them. And I didn't put any up on Amazon because I wanted to give you guys first crack at them. So I doubt you'll see them in most stores. Now, as I'm working around here and I'm painting the sides of this, I keep going back and kind of leveling out the top because it will kind of slop over the top and I don't want a big ridge on the outside, right? But then once I do that, I have to gently do my side again because it will ridge up over there. That's kind of like the spaghettis and sauce scenario, you know, get too much of one then too much of the other, but eventually you get it just right. You must go outside now once you've done that. Um, there is outside Mod Podge. So if you plan to put it outside, I would not use this one. I would get the Mod Podge for outdoor use. And once you do that, if you Mod Podge it with the outdoor stuff, absolutely it will go outside. But if for um, flower pots and other stuff that will be outside, use the outdoor formula because it's says her daughter can't order her storage shed comes. <laughs> Tricia's stepdaughter got her gift cards to some of the special crafts for her oh, birthday. Oh, yay! That's a good stepdaughter. That is a good kid right there. We like her. I've never met her, but I like her. Two stepdaughters. My oh, stepdaughters. Wow. yay. Well, I like them. I think they're good folks. <laughs> I was talking to a customer on the phone today who said, Debbie, you're getting me in trouble. I said, I'm sorry, but I must confess, I do lay awake nights finding ways to get you in trouble. <laughs> I must confess it. <laughs> I just can't help myself, guys. I can't help myself. Oh, this is going to be pretty. <laughs> Betty needs a she shed. That sounds like a winner, Betty. Need a she shed. My craft area is my she shed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it didn't take me long to run out of space. <laughs> and start taking over Bryce as he should. <laughs> but he says he's going to boot my stuff out as soon as he needs the space. Mine goes out in the rain. I don't believe him, though, do you? Maybe we should believe him. <laughs> I probably should believe him. Okay, this time I'm just taking all the extra paper off to make it easier, getting all the little cracks and crevices, because... I think that was easier at the end than it was in the beginning. She said she should have bought her neighbor's 4,000 square foot house for her, she said. Oh, yeah. Imagine what you could do with that. Woohoo! Diane said, that's a perfect craft room. 
<laughs> yeah. I bought a rolling cart the other day, and Bryce said, where do you think you're going to put a rolling cart? You have no floor space left. I said, I have room in my office. My office is filled with filing cabinets, but I made room for a little rolling cart that I have to move out of the way then in order to be able to get to everything on my bookshelf, but hey, that's okay. I needed a place for my beads. My sister-in-law started doing all of that wire wrapping, and she reflamed my interest in beading. And so I've been collecting beads again. Again, because I actually have a pretty good collection of beads already, but you, you know, you can't have too many beads. Yes, you can. <laughs> Bryce says you absolutely can. <laughs> when we went to bring all the little boxes and parcels out here that had accumulated in the house while I was waiting for my little um, storage unit to come in, <laughs> they accumulated into quite a heavy load <laughs> to, get out, to get out the door. I like gemstone stones, that, not, that is semi precious, you know, like the agates and garnets and fluorite. Oh my. Funny, I just pulled out a big supply of wire for wrapping out today. Aha! So you guys say I like wire wrapping. Well, I can't promise to teach you anything on wire wrapping yet because I'm just learning. But I did make a couple pretty things when I was learning. So I'm kind of pleased with that. Huh? I should, yeah. Maybe she would. My sister-in-law actually has a business that she's doing where she's doing wire wrap jewelry. And if you want, sometime we can ask her if she wants to come on and show us a few basic things. It might be fun. We now have the ability with this new software that we're using to actually invite guests. So Paula wouldn't have to be here we can actually stream her from. It's like Zoom in a way. Um, you know how we have the two cameras where you see me and you see the what I'm doing? We would just have more little windows. You might see me and you might see Paula and you might see what we're doing. So you just add more windows and then you can you can see. And I'd ask if you've done paper beads. Um, I, uh, I have. It's been a long time. We used to have a wonderful hot off the press um, paper bead template, and I was never successful in getting Paulette from hot off the press to remanufacture that. It just sold like hotcakes. And I have done some paper beads with those where you roll them. I thought that was great fun. But you can make some beautiful beads by rolling them and then shellacking them. I don't know why I'm working that so hard when you brought me these wonderful sanding blocks. I do have to be really careful with the sanding block, though, because these are way, way higher grit or lower grit, whatever that is. The, the tougher, they're tougher. I don't want to sand off all my painting, but yeah. Would you guys be interested in seeing a demo on wire wrapping? If you would, I will pursue asking about that. Alma says she used to make jewelry 50 years ago. Do you still have your jewelry making stuff, Thelma? That's a silly question to ask a crafter. Of course you do. 
I'm doing here with my scissors is just taking off some of the little, I have just a few little pokies left there after I sanded that off. These are going to be beautiful. Oh, I started to say a minute ago, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some jewels on here in the centers of some of the flowers. I think that'll be a neat addition to this. Tracer was going to make paper beads and wrap them in Hortensia rice Ooh, paper. Oh, pretty. That's a pretty idea. I'm going to see a picture when you're done with that. Yes, she has. <laughs> I'm <Someplace stuff>. downstairs. <laughs> Bertie gave you a thumbs up on the wrapping idea. Okay. I'll ask Paula what she thinks. I've only made a few little pieces. You guys probably have fancier things you've made, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I haven't had a lot of time for things that were not related to class. If I could convince myself I was working on something for class, I could probably have a blast. <laughs> But I did sit down one night and I created about seven or eight pieces in one night and I was very pleased with them on the whole for somebody who was doing it for the first time. I've done lots and lots of beading work, but I haven't done lots of wire wrapping, although it's always been an interest of mine. And then when Paula started doing it, I thought, oh, I got to learn to do that. So I immediately started my... <laughs> Yes, it's all your sister's fault, right? It's all Paula's fault. She's been blamed for many crimes. She has. Paula's the one that got me into making soap, melt and pour soaps. And now I have, oh, I have such a collection of melt and pour stuff. But I do enjoy doing that. I try and do that every Christmas because I have people who like my soaps for Christmas too. Yeah, if you decide to do this, make sure you have a good supply of emery boards. That's what I would say. My sanding block is doing an okay job on the big straight areas, but to get in around his tail and to get in around the antennae, you are going to need, oh, I'm doing all of this off camera, I'm sorry. To get in around the antennae and to get in around the, the tail, you are going to want See, this is Bryce's camp, uh, Bryce's phone acting up now. <laughs> oh, Patrice, we understand diamond painting in this household too. Lauren has a collection of diamond painting that was, that is second to none. I asked her, I said, if you lost your job tomorrow, and started diamond painting full time, how long would it take you to complete all of the diamond paintings you have in your possession right now? She said, mm, I'm thinking somewhere around two years. <laughs> That's not an exaggeration, guys. She does the great big ones and she belongs to a diamond painting club where she buys her kits and she just can't help herself when a new one comes out that she loves. She just can't help it. She must get it. <laughs> so she kind of inherited a little bit of her mommy's crafting compulsion. 
<laughs> oh, I really love this. Look how pretty that's turning out. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so you kind of have the same bug. <laughs> okay, so we got some diamond painters in here too. I didn't bring them in because it's been predominantly an Amazon product, but I should tell you then if you guys have interest in diamond painting that we just restocked our leisure painting books on diamond painting. They're pattern books where you create your own diamond paintings using your leftover diamonds. Because I know you as crafters, you didn't throw those away. You still have stashes and stashes of those old diamonds left. Because that's what we do as crafters. We hoard those things. And with these diamond painting books and canvases, it's you can buy the raw canvas the adhesive canvas, and then there's pattern books. You can create your own diamond painting choosing your leftover stones. And those have been very, very popular on Amazon, and I just restocked our supplies. They are available in our store. I just didn't bring them into What's New Wednesday. I obviously should have. But um, take a look at those if you're interested. Go to our diamond painting um, category in our store, and then you'll see. I think it's I think it's called leisure art books in there, isn't it? We were just talking about having restocked those just recently. Teresa's planning to do a painting of her family's old castle. Oh my gosh, your family has an old castle! Wow. What country is the castle in? Is this something they can see what you're doing now? And this one grabbed the link to the diamond painting section. Okay. Which has the books in it and the freestyle beads. Okay. Bryce is grabbing a, look, a link to the leisure art books. Castles in Scotland. Oh, wow. And does your family still, your extended family still own that castle or is that something that was owned once upon a time? Okay. I'm ready to go on with that. It's on lock screen. Is that lake something or other? <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool to be able to say that was in your family, though. That's really cool. Yes, for what it suggests, a road trip to Scotland. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to visit Scotland someday. That's on my list. I want to go to... I want to go to the UK someday when COVID is a thing of the past. And I want to go to the Netherlands. If we can go to, if we go to Europe, we can actually write off some of that since so many of our distributors are in 
the Netherlands and UK. And then I want to see Scotland just because I need to see it. And people talk me. <laughs> I don't think I can take Lauren though because she's totally entranced by that Scottish accent. And she'll decide she needs to fall in love with someone there and move to Scotland, which would not be okay with her mother. <laughs> No, no, I haven't went to Connecticut. Scotland? No, out of the question. <laughs> She's totally entranced with that Scottish accent, i got to say. But then again, who of us isn't? I watch Outlander and Swoon. <laughs> craft supplies, but you're happy. <laughs> Bryce and I plan someday. It's been our long-term goal to eat our way across Italy. <laughs> I want to do that someday before I die. I want to go to Italy and taste food from all over the country. Because I think the Italians have it going on. My favorite foods are Italian foods. So I got my sights on lots of European countries. I did one of those 23andMe DNA tests, and I have a lot of European roots. My dad always told me that my, native, or that my uh, maiden name was British, and it turns out he's right. There's even a family crest for my maiden name. Okay. Betty McSorley, you're half and half what? Half Scottish, half Irish? Is that where you? Oh, for killing the people that killed Mel Gibson. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Braveheart. <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool history, isn't it? That's a cool combination, Penny. <laughs> oh, and they have the other guy's statue all over instead of Mel Gibson's. dressed this morning and I had a Zoom doctor's appointment. So in honor of the occasion, 
And just because I could, I wear my pajama bottoms to my doctor's appointment. <laughs> you guys always know what I'm wearing when I come to class. I never know what you guys are wearing when you come to class. I'd ask you what you're wearing, but that might sound a little stockish. <laughs> Actually, now that we think of it, we've been talking about all this Scottish and the British and all. I guess I would have been on the British side of that scenario as much as I dislike that. <laughs> My family would have been on the bad guy side. But don't hold it against me. That was long before me. <laughs> oh, you're leaving a net? Okay, see you later, friend. Yeah, let Debbie know I have a problem with the order that I have pending. I will order a few things later. Okay. All right, yeah, just email me. We'll figure it out, whatever it is. The um, Brits bargain for this week is going well. If you're interested in those in those kits, don't wait too long, guys, because those Romac kits are selling like hotcakes. I always like you to like to see you get what you want and not be disappointed. So I'll just give you an update on those. Those are great for travel. If you have travel plans post COVID. In your future, there's nothing about those kits that is time dated. You know, they will, they'll stay good. And they are most excellent travel kits, as we discussed in What's New Wednesday yesterday. Candidly, we do a little fancier stuff in some of our classes now than they did in the era in which these classes were made. But they're still very pretty. And it's always nice to have things with you when you're traveling. I keep getting out of camera range and letting you guys watch the table. I'm sorry. I realize I'm doing it. I come back and then I get out of range again. So yell at me if I do that. There's Lauren coming in. Coming to give her daddy a birthday hug. Oh, she's more interested in her dinner. <laughs> I expect her to give him a big birthday hug. Instead, she's asking about the Thai food for dinner. <laughs> Kids. Yeah, we're going to be done before too long, actually. What time is it, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm well on the way to... I'm well on the way to wrapping this. So what I'm finding is probably it's going to be really important if you do this project to have an emery board. It's going to be, do you don't have an emery board in your stuff, do you? The rough nail file? Yeah, a nail file. Say nail file. Well, can you give me one? Um, yeah. Would you please? Mine, as you can see, is a little worn and all the parts I need the most. And see this? This is what it needs the nail file the most. So if you could take your puppy with you and get it, that'd be good, because that would mean I would. You're going bitter. 
Brittany just came in. Say hi, Brittany. She's not going to say hi, I guess. Hi. <laughs> there she is. There she is. <laughs> How's things going at school, Diane? Are the, is everybody staying pretty healthy? Besides the kids wearing you down? <laughs> Clearly you must be back in class. Maybe not though, maybe still on the internet. I don't know. I hope she comes right back with that. getting it with this, but I'm sure it would be easier with a little bit one. I just rub the end of my paper up with that one. Yeah, an emery board is definitely the tool du jour, guys. I've sent my family in search of a new Emory board. <laughs> I don't think you'll find anything in there, honey. Maybe up in one of the boxes, but probably not. I think what I'll do, I'm getting closer. And I think what I'll do is stop there on that until Lauren gets back with a nail file or an emery board. And I'm going to The second race. <laughs> well, I'll bring that screen back up. At least the little screen, I believe, is still looking, is still working. We have a new internet connection being put in to try and stabilize that a bit. I think it's coming right back, guys. It should be back now, I believe. Another coat on this little butterfly. On the butterfly and around the edges. Boy, I love these. They're going to be beautiful. <gasps> Look! Oh, you were such a good kid. Thank you. Look what you brought me. <laughs> such a good kid. Don't you forget it. <laughs> you hear what she said on the way out the door? Don't forget it. <laughs> Hard to say what those emery board will cost me. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, look at that just takes it right off there. And some little scrappies there that just went right away. Boy, that's pretty, 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 pretty. Color, oops. Colors getting deeper as we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And let's see here. <laughs> Patrice 
was just telling us. Have you ever seen the movie Braveheart, Brittany? The Mel Gibson movie. They do terrible things to him at the end. Really awful. But about a feud in Scotland. Mm -hmm. um, Patrice's family owned a castle in Scotland that they were awarded for taking out the people who took out Braveheart. <laughs> Isn't that something? Pretty cool. We have celebrities in our midst. Or celebrity descendants, anyway. <laughs> of course, Brittany, our lineage takes us on the other side. <laughs> we were from the British side of that whole thing. That's... <laughs> What are you looking for, love? Oh, uh, Margie took some of it home, but she didn't take, I don't think she took all of it. She took some home to package it, and I thought she took some downstairs. I mean, we're sold. Um, thank you. I, I am Emery Board Rich now. Thank you. <laughs> when I was talking about the ones that you get when you get your pedicures, guys, these were great. Great. <laughs> Betty Gossel's cousin is Jesse James. <laughs> I don't think I have a whole lot of claims to fame in my family. Reed Love, who at one time held the land speed record, was a shirt tail relative of my dad's, <laughs> which explains my compulsion to speed, I guess. <laughs> I'm known for having a little bit of a heavy foot, and maybe that comes from there, huh? <laughs> It's a far distant relative. I don't even know if we could make the full connection. My dad was pretty sure of it. Okay. Oh, this is just working so much better. If you have this Emory board, your life is going to be very easy doing these antennae, but you got to have something that allows you to reach in there. And this just takes them right off, I'm telling you. This is good stuff here. So I'm gonna keep all these in the shop. I don't think she's gonna want them back after I've decoupaged medium all over them. And I will truly appreciate having the purple one out here. I actually don't even know that I need to replace pieces on these because they have enough white in them. The fact that the very ends of the antenna are white actually look pretty good. Patrick Ball has a distant cousin, anchor from Italy named Giovanni Corzati. His work was beautiful, she says. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Look at all these artists in our midst, famous people. Okay, I'm ready to decoupage this last one. Look how beautiful these are turning out. They're so pretty. Speaking of people tracing back their lineage, I saw Tom Hanks interviewed regarding having played Mr. Rogers. And people said he looked so much like Mr. Rogers and sounded so much like Mr. Rogers when they were 
filming that, that he actually did um, some family lineage and found out he and Fred Rogers were related and not super distant relation. They actually were related. And Mr. Rogers, if you haven't seen that movie, it's really charming. I recommend it. I loved it. I thought it was great. I said like Tom Hanks anyway, I think he's pretty superb. And who could not love Mr. Rogers? Come on. I watched Mr. Rogers when I was an adult. <laughs> if he, it's not like I sought it out, but if I flipped by it and he was on, I would leave it there because I just like the tone of that show. It was so friendly and neighborly, so neighborly. <laughs> Once upon a time in another life, my last name was Rogers for a while. And my students would say, hey, Mrs. Rogers, how's Mr. Rogers? And I'd say, Mr. Rogers is fine, fine, but you should see our neighborhood. <laughs> Roberta's grandmother was a young princess. Oh, wow. That's cool. I don't know if they can hear me on the mic. Yet another celebrity. Wow. Diane was adopted and she found her birth parents on Anne's rest ancestry age 55 and her birth mother is still alive. Oh, wow. Have you talked to her, Diane? Do you have a desire to talk to her? That's a personal question. I'm sorry if it's too personal. Ignore me if I'm too personal. See. What do you think, guys? Oh, wow. So you do talk to her regularly. That's really cool that you were able to make connections there. Very cool. Kind of nice to be able to have access to things like family medical history and stuff too. Sometimes it's challenging to, can I see one of those pen stands please, honey? Huh? Oh, I love the Prince Charmings. I love that one. I love that one. <laughs> and now if you could get me the coasters and the clock, if you can reach it. I don't know if you can reach it. It's on the wall. The coasters are right inside the door. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> You reach the clock. <laughs> it seemed to have stopped. I miss it. Oops. <laughs> 
trying to get you everything in one view. Can you turn me off for a minute so they can see, please? Oh, please, yes. <laughs> he said, oh, please, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Betty says she keeps kissing frogs, but no princess to be found. <laughs> There we go. There's my now, my new collection. Yes. Now break out the stickles for them butterflies. I agree with you, Roberta. But see, they actually do match nicely, don't they? They're a little bit different, which is good, but they do. And they'll actually dry uh, I mean, this is not completely dry, so it's actually going to dry just a bit brighter than it looks right now. But they look nice together, don't they? <laughs> so there we go. There's our decoupage from Hortensia. <laughs> All right. Let me slide these over because they're still wet. I'll put some um, some hangers on the back of those, and those are going to go on my wall with my clock, which is going to be beautiful. I'm going to hand this back to you if I might. Oof, I love that. Brittany's coming for my birthday to help clean again. <laughs> Yeah, I already need it. We didn't actually finish last time. And this is going to clean up faster than it looks. But <laughs> Bryce is laughing at that one, guys. Speaking of coincidences, Debbie, I have a clock just like you do. What are the odds? <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> the odds are pretty good. <laughs> All right. So. Saturday, we're doing Beatrice Potter, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. It's going to be really fun this very weekend. Bryce and I are going to be doing some practice when tomorrow. for tomorrow. Tomorrow to do the video integration so you all can see me um, clicking around on the on the CD. <laughs> and this one. How many of you have your Mrs. Tiggy Winkle kits now? Oops. Do quite a few of you have them? And this one. It's going to be great fun. Over weeks since it was shipped. The bad weather is really slowing us down sometimes, but ah, oh, they won't let you do it till Mother's Day though. It was my Brittany, it was my birthday last week. Why didn't you come clean my house? <laughs> oh yeah, I hear you. <laughs> So you guys know about the kit, what's in it, 13 printed sheets in here, and we got black um, bases for all our cards, and we've got ribbon, and we've got foam squares, and we've got mirror board, and you have a free Mrs. Tiggy Winkle stamp because I just needed to do it, just needed to do it. And of course, you are going to have the wonderful Beatrice Potter CD. And we're going to spend some time going through that because I want to make sure 
that you guys are absolutely comfortable. You can bring me back. Thank you. I want to make absolutely sure that you guys are comfortable with perusing around and printing using your CD because it is gorgeous and you are going to love what you can do with it. So anybody got any questions or comments or pearls of wisdom? Not sure yet when the uh, uh, the explosion boards will be here, but I am confident we will get them. And we are, I have all kinds of new stuff to get in the system. So I'm going to be working on that. We have some more stuff coming up from Ecstasy Crafts and the Craft Dex convention that I attended by video. We have some more things by, what's his first name? Um, Rogers, Jamie Rogers. We have some more by Jamie's Rogers. And next Saturday, Diane, I don't have the cards made yet to show you, but next Saturday, not tomorrow, but a week from now, we're doing the frog cards with Find It Trading. They're gonna be absolutely adorable. And I am going to love bringing those to you. So I will get those kits done and the um, examples made, I hope, over the weekend. And then we will roll forward with that one. I can't tell you precisely what's happening in what order yet, but I can tell you that soon on the agenda, we will be, um, we're going to move into, in our stamping class, we're going to move into our alcohol and water-based markers. So those are going to be great fun. We're going to do some scenery stamping, which I am totally elated about. In fact, I have, um, I have um, some wonderful scenery stamps lined up for you that I'm just so, so excited about. And we're gonna probably do several weeks of scenery stamping because there's just so darn much we can do with that. You won't believe how cool the stuff is that we'll be able to do. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, the Jamie Rogers, as soon as you guys are all out of the deep freeze, we'll be ready to move forward with the Jamie um, Pixie Sparkles class. Um, I have now the... Um, the clear embossing paste that we need. And um, I did order some more Cosmic Shimmer glue because I didn't know if you guys would all have glue that would be appropriate. That should be here soon. But I want to make sure that we're all out of the deep freeze so your packages are not spoiling on the way. Um, we ship stuff, even water-based stuff year round. But if we're going to ship it out for a whole class, I want to be careful that I'm not losing product for the whole class because product freezes in route. I have four bottles, 450 milliliter bottles of um, Cosmic Shimmer glue sitting here on the table that is frozen solid. It froze and then once it unfreezes, it stays in a putty kind of form that's totally useless to you. So I don't want to jump the gun too much sending those water-based products out. So I think that's it. <laughs> Send it on Air Force One. <laughs> okay. So any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? Because I need to sign off so these guys can get to the post office. Anybody got a question? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Okay, good night, Gracie.